Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 26. And in this tutorial, we are gonna take a look at how to style lists in HTML. So if you take a look at my text editor over here, I've gone ahead and just pre-populated a little bit of code. So we've got an H2 that says this is a, or here's a list to style. And then I've got a bunch of uh, list items within a unordered list and each one of them actually has instructions of what we're gonna do in this tutorial. And then if we take a look at my main CSS file, that's empty. So uh, looking at this in the browser, this is pretty much what our page looks like. In fact, let me just zoom in to make this a little bit bigger and clearer for everyone, right? So here's a list to style, and here's some things that we can do this list. We can change the uh, list styling from circles to squares or uh, another shape. We can also make this unordered list into an ordered list. So right now it uses bullet points, but we could actually make this list use uh, numbers as if it were an ordered list, even though it's not an ordered list, it's an unordered list, UL, right? Um, then we can add an image. So instead of using numbers or instead of using a shape like these bullets, we can actually use an image. And then the last thing we can do is actually just remove the styling completely. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that um, in this tutorial. So let's jump over to my CSS file because uh, that's where the meat of this tutorial is gonna be. And I wanna select this uh, list by just going ahead and selecting UL. And that is going to select our unordered list. And then I'm gonna use a property called list style type and then I'm going to uh, change this from, uh, right now, the default setting is actually disk. That's what these little uh, colored in uh, bullet points are actually. But I'm gonna change this to a circle. All right, so if I change that to circle, come back here and hit refresh, you can see that we now have empty circles as our bullet points. And there are a bunch of other settings for this. Uh, so you can actually just Google this and find a bunch of different options to de decide which one you wanna use, right? But the circle, there is a square. So save this, come back here, hit refresh. Now we've got little squares. Um, and like I said, the default one is disk. So if you set that back to disk, it goes back to those colored in circles. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different options. So go ahead, Google it, find out what options there are. Um, I'm just showing you guys more or less how to do this, not every single option that there is. Right, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and comment this line of text out now. And let's take a look at the second point, which is to make this unordered list into an ordered list. So that's something we can do as well. And uh, let's just change that to circle. And we're gonna actually use the same property. So I'm gonna just paste that down here. I know somebody's probably gonna ask why I just commented this out and then use the same line. Um, it's because when I make the tutorial code downloadable later on, I actually want this there, right? So now we've got list style type is equal to circle, uh, but let's change that from circle. Let's set it equal to decimal. So decimal numbers, of course, you guys know are the numbers one, two, three, four, that kind of stuff. So if we come back here and hit refresh, uh, we now have our unordered list displaying as if it were an ordered list. We've got the numbers one, two, three, and four in front of each bullet point, right? Uh, so that's something we can do uh, as an ordered, or turn our unordered list into an ordered list. Uh, we can do the same thing as well if, uh, if we change this from uh, UL to OL, then by default, it would be a numbered list, right? But we can then go back to our code and actually change ordered lists into unordered lists by doing the same thing, list style type, and then just turn, setting that to square or disk or something, and come back here and hit refresh. And uh, now we've changed an ordered list into an unordered list. So you can do things uh, both ways. It's, uh, it's interchangeable. All right, so I'm just gonna comment that part out as well. And uh, let's change this back to a unordered list, right? So the other options that we have here are, uh, refresh this again. Okay, so the other options that we have, instead of decimal, 
Um, there are also things like decimal dash uh, leading zero, and that'll put a zero in front of the number. So now it's 01, 02, 03. Um, right. Then uh, we can also do Roman numerals. So I forget the setting for that. It's Roman, low, okay, upper, low, and upper, <laughs> upper Roman and lower Roman, right? So come back here and now we've got uh, lower Roman numerals as in I, 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 V, right? You can also do it as uh, upper Roman, upper Roman. I don't know why I'm struggling to say <laughs> that. Oh, that was a weird laugh as well. Okay, come back, hit refresh. And now we've got upper Roman numerals. And like I said, there's a bunch of different options here. So you can go ahead and Google these, find out what they are. Uh, I mean, there's things like Greek, lower Greek. Uh, there are Japanese symbols like uh, katakana. Uh, so, I mean, you decide uh, if you want to use something like that and uh, just do the research, right? Okay, so that was changing the, that was the second point, which was making an unordered list into an ordered list. Uh, we can also add a list style image instead of using uh, Roman numerals or instead of using bullet points, right? So if we take a look at my htdocs folder over here, obviously I've got my index file that we've been using this whole time. I've got my CSS, which is in there, but I've also added an emoji, which is the sunglasses emoji, the cool emoji. And uh, yeah, we can actually use something like this as a list style item as well. So the name of this emoji is emoji.ping. So let me copy that. And uh, I'm gonna comment that line of code out there. And instead of using that, let's, uh, let's use a new line, which is gonna be list style image. So it's a new property as well. And uh, I'm gonna set this equal to URL, open my brackets, and uh, this is how you set an image uh, for your, your list item. Now, uh, we have to get the correct file path over here. So my CSS file is here, which means I need to go back one folder and then I need to go into uh, this emoji or I need to select this emoji uh, image. So how do we go back one folder? We go dot, dot, slash. That's gonna take us back one folder. And then I'm gonna put the emoji or the image name in here, which is emoji.ping because it is a ping image. Uh, if it is not a ping image, of course, then use JPEG or whatever file extension your image actually is. Please don't just copy me when you have a different file type. Okay, let's come back here and hit refresh. And now you can see we've got our list item showing up with images in front of each list item. And it does look a little bit uh, um, not nice because the image and the uh, text don't exactly line up. So there are some styling rules that you can go about. Uh, there are some things that you can go about doing to fix this. Uh, one of those might be to just add a little bit of extra padding in front of our list item. So um, uh, to be honest, we might have to do, okay, well actually UL, Padding left, let's just make that a little bit bigger, like 50 pixels. By default, I think it's like 20 or 15 or something. Okay, refresh 50 pixels, and so now we've got a little bit more space here. The actual image shows in the browser. Um, then you might wanna just line this text and the actual picture up by adding some uh, margin or padding on the bottom as well. Uh, so, yeah. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this cause it's gonna add a lot of minutes to my tutorial, but just know that you might wanna just add some padding or margin or something uh, to the bottom or the tops of these things and you can get them in line, right? Uh, right, so that was this style image. Let's take a look at, oops. Let's take a look at uh, the fourth point, which is to remove all of the styling completely. So, um, if I comment this out as well, right? Uh, it, we should come back to a normal default list, but we can remove the styling of uh, these, these list items by saying list style type none, and that's going to completely get rid of all these list items or these bullet points, right? 
Uh, but you'll see there's still a little bit of padding here, so it's not exactly lined up against the edge of the website or against the edge of the browser. Uh, so what we can do as well is go uh, padding, padding left. The reason why I always select padding left um, is because, well, this is the left of our list. And if you actually take a look at this in the browser uh, or in the console, uh, if I hover over my unordered list, you can see that purple block next to the text, that's padding. So if I make that smaller, or if I set that to zero pixels, like I'm gonna do now, uh, zero pixels, then it disappears. And now everything is in line, right? Um, but by default, that padding is pretty much always there uh, to make space for the uh, list or the bullet points that, that appear or the images that you wanna use or something like that, right? I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon, and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out, so follow me on social media and check out some more of my content, and I'll see you guys next time.